Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Create with Kate 56. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday so far today. We got a little bit of blustery weather here. We're supposed to get an inch or so of snow tomorrow. Um, it's only supposed to stick to the grass because we've had 60 degree plus temperatures a couple of days earlier in the week. So they're not expecting to stick to the streets or anything like that. So today I have a design team project, special guest design team project for Lorna at Taylor Made Journals and for her uh, project I decided to use the Winter Magic Kit along with her French Receipts Kit um, so I came up with a small journal I uh, wanted to make a little hand, handy sized of a journal that you can carry along with you um, so the it measures Five and a half inches tall and it's four inches wide and when it's open it's 11 by five and a half I've got three signatures in here um, I used some craft text in between fabric for the cover give it a little um, more heft um, to it there's three signatures there's a writing board it's 116 pages front and back and I use the elastics so it is refillable so here we go also I wanted to let you know that this is going to be a giveaway journal um, I am wanting to make it to 1,000 subscribers I have 788 right now and I need 212 more uh, <clears throat> so when I get to the thousand um, this will be the giveaway um, all you have to do is like, comment, and share, and um, when I hit that thousand subscriber mark, we will um, have a drawing. So, thanks to all my subscribers for stopping by, and if you're new here, I hope you subscribe as well. Um, and uh, you can keep track of what I'm up to. So, here we go. It's a nice size. It handle it feels nice in the hand um, as I use the elastics so I went with the elastic closure on this um, I have fabric inside fabric outside and as I said the craft text is in the middle gives it a little bit more sturdiness I feel than just a piece of uh, card and it's much more flexible as well so on the front I have one of the pictures oh and by the way I made these the images uh, five by seven and um, that way I could make the size journal and it would all fit in there nicely <clears throat> so I've got on the front here a really beautiful picture of a deer and there's one in the background some birds um, just a nice frosty frosty looking for a winter journal. Inside this pocket I've got two tags that I've done and they're, um, they've been sewn around and um, they're blank on the back for journaling on. So those just go right in there. On the inside I have a writing board it's made with chipboard and these are images from the kit I must say everything in here is from her kit other than a few little bit of stamping that I've done so um, even the tab she had the whale tail tabs included in the kit as well my signature covers I'd used vellum and printed the images on there I think they turned out really nice and as I said, all the pages are from her kit. Beautiful kit. Nice, beautiful for winter. Got a pocket here with one of her postcards. And this is one of the receipts. I chose this set because they're blue. <laughs> so I thought it would match with everything. And um, all my pages, everything is inked with Chip Sapphire um, Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. So... Got a tuck over here with a tag, a little bit of collage on that page, 
and I tore all the pages as well. I just kind of wanted to try that look, and I, I really like it. Got another pocket here, a couple of copies of the receipts. Pocket there with a tag. This was in the kit too, that little, I don't know what you would, it's almost like a ticket shape. And uh, it's just, I stamped on that, that was, wasn't on there. And my uh, middle of my first signature, got this beautiful picture here with the robins and a deer. Um, I did three whole pamphlet stitch and I used kind of a shimmery silver uh, yarn, very thin yarn to sew my signatures together. Another pocket, a couple more tags. This is just collage here. Got a tuck spot here. Some more of those receipts. This is just a little mini journal card up there. These are collage here. This is the back side of the first signature cover. This one has an owl on it. Pocket, journal card, and tag. Here we've got a little envelope, and inside are a couple of little journal cards as well. This was different for me. It's all white paper. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever done anything with all white paper in it before. But it just, with the blue on the edge, I think it just goes really well with the kit. I, yeah, I couldn't have asked for this to turn out any, any better, I don't think. These are background pages that I printed on the back side of the journal pages. A little collage down there. This is just another little journal card here. Pocket and a tag. This one I did two holes. Tied a bow on the front. A little tuck there. Center of this signature. The little bunnies and the squirrel down there. It's like a watercolor. It's, it's so pretty. I just love this kit. I fell in love with it when I saw it. This was the bottom to well, I'm not going to find it. Maybe. Yeah. That was the bottom to one of these cards here. Got a little corner pocket there. I just put some seam binding around behind a, one of the images in the kit. And I got the two receipts here. Just a little collage. I took, after I got done, I went and put everything that was left in. Bigger one with one of the receipts. So there's plenty of room to write in here. There's a lot of pages, there's a lot of journaling cards, um, tags, and then there's the back side of that signature with the fox. I really like using the vellum for these signature covers. I think it works out really well. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, bunnies on the bottom of this one. This page has little lines on it you can write on. Just another piece left from the kit. I took this jar and made it into a little corner tuck. Owl. This is just stuck on the page. 
couple more receipts here. I've got some seam binding that I dyed behind this little journal card there. Snowflake. Oh, I lied. This is from Tim Holtz. It's an uh, impresslet um, die that I have. So that, there, that's the only thing that's not worn us. <laughs> I didn't really need it, but I it, I had it laying there from another project, and I thought, well, I'll stick a snowflake on this page. Here we got another envelope. I just put one of the circles that were in the kit on there, and this two little journal cards here. Okay, there we got a uh, corner tuck here and another tag. Beautiful papers. Look at that. Got a tag in this bucket. This was one of the little envelopes that were or coin envelopes that was in the kit. And there's the center of this one. Frosty. Just beautiful. Love it. little oh, envelope here opens up and there's additional writing space inside there those little tiny paper clips are so perfect size for this book here here I've got a belly band with a couple more receipts stuck in behind there Beautiful pages. Really beautiful. Look at this. It's like a watercolor. I mean, I suppose it was a watercolor, but it's just beautiful. You can really tell. Got a little corner tuck here with another receipt. Oopsie. Another postcard pocket with receipts in it. Just a little collage up there. Look at that. That's so pretty. And then here's the back page of that vellum cover. The little squirrel looking out. I've got my library card in here. It says Believe in Magic Winter. And the name of the journal is Winter's Magic from Lorna's Kit. I completed this on the 11th. So. Again, this is going to be our giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, like I said, just have to um, like, comment, and share, and be a subscriber. And uh, yeah, we'll do this when we get to 1,000. So I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your weekend. Thank you so very much for stopping. I will have Lorna's links down below in the video so you can go check out her channel and... Um, her Etsy shop. See all the beautiful kits that she has available in there. So thanks very much everybody for stopping by. Um, I will talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.